Welcome to the Towson University College of Fine Arts and Communications What's Your Story podcast. In today's story, we hear from Narisa Paglinowin, Program Manager at the Asian Arts and Culture Center. She shares with us how singing helps her find her voice. People who know me know that I've been a choral singer for as long as I can remember. It's now, thinking about it, probably 30 years. I've been very fortunate to be a member of the Baltimore Choral Arts Society in my 13th season now. But I wasn't always a confident singer, or speaker for that matter. I started off growing up as a very quiet and shy child. I never wanted to raise my hand in school. Teachers would always try to prod me and know that I probably had something to say, but I was, you know, still too nervous or shy or worried about saying something wrong or incorrect. So I never liked to talk in class. I was too shy. But that changed when I discovered my voice in music. Music has always been a part of my life. I have an older sister, seven years older than me, who began piano lessons at age five. So I don't remember a moment when I didn't hear the piano playing. And I just assumed that, yes, because my sister's doing that, I'm going to do that too. So I too began piano at the age of five and discovered my love of music. And from my love of music, I also discovered my love of singing and specifically singing in harmony. One of my earliest memories, aside from learning the round of row, row, row your boat, I remember my sister coming home one day and saying, hey, I want you to sing this with me. And, you know, since she was older, she listened to cool music. And at that time, her favorite band was U2. So my first experience of learning a harmony was U2's Sunday Bloody Sunday. Of course, as a seven-year-old, I didn't know what I was singing about, but I thought those two lines of harmony just sounded really cool together. I mean, how can you be singing a line completely different from someone else and have them come together and just make, you know, magic that you can only do with two voices? So when the opportunity arose to be able to sing in a choir outside of what we did in school, I jumped at it. That's how I started in middle school, my love of singing choral music. And it's been a part of my life every Monday night of going to a rehearsal, singing with other people that can be completely different from you, aside from having this wonderful gift of music in common. So through choral singing, I really found my voice. And, you know, I used to be nervous before performances, even before having to sing any solos. As I was when I was taught, I was worried about making a mistake. But eventually I got to understand that, you know, people who are there listening to you, they don't want you to fail. They're there to support you. They're there to experience the music with you. And I was able to let go of my fear and just sing out and share my music and share my voice. 